Hello YouTubers and thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I am doing another unboxing video of a box that I received uh, two days ago. Um, I ordered some stuff from uh, David Tubb uh, Superior Shooting Systems and uh, I expected it last week but I think because of the holiday weekend uh, it came in on Tuesday. Um, uh, you know, I'm upgrading things on the AR uh, to increase reliability and performance and uh, I'm not sure what this is yet. I haven't opened the, ent the entire box, um, but I did open the exterior of the box so that I wouldn't have to bore you with five minutes of trying to get all this packing tape off of here. So let's see what we got inside. Bear with me as I shift the angle of the camera. Okay, we got peanuts. Packing peanuts. <laughs> Alright. Okay, there's my invoice. Okay, so the first thing here is uh, the extractor and ejector spring um, upgrades. And there they are. Um, let's see. Right here, I'm reading this part. This package contains one ejector spring and one extractor spring, engineered expressly to cure extractor, uh, extraction problems. Our CS extractor spring provides approximately 80% greater power than the stock spring. Um, the ejector spring is also uh, more efficient than stock and resists breakdown and failure for the life of the rifle. Both these springs are unaffected by heat up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit and should provide a lifetime of correct, efficient service for the most demanding applications. Um, This is constructed of a superior chrome silicone alloy, according to this, and um, I will be installing these uh, shortly. Um, one of the things about, <coughs> excuse me, the um, extractor spring right here. There's the extractor. There's the ejector. Anyway, is that you don't have to use uh, any D rings and. Uh, I'm also under the understanding that you do not have to use the little, um, I don't know what it's called, uh, there's a, I think it's a plastic piece that sits in the extractor spring and it goes down into the extractor. Um, I believe this is made so you don't have to use that. I'll know for sure once I start putting it together. And then the other thing I got and this is uh, what I'm actually excited about is a uh, chrome silicone buffer spring um, and as you can see right here it's a flat wire spring um, I don't have the other spring to compare it to the regular spring but this is actually a longer spring and it's all flat instead of rounded like your typical buffer springs and um, This also, it's 80% harder working than stock and virtually unbreakable. No inserts, no gimmicks needed. The CS ejector spring is also harder working and holds up to heat and stress better than a conventional part. No failures. Um, one of the things about these, and, and I've heard, uh, and obviously I haven't shot that much with my rifle yet, but is that your springs start wearing out right at about 5,000 rounds. Um, my understanding is that these parts are all supposed to be good for the life of your rifle. And I believe that they're guaranteed for the life of your rifle. So, you know, if this works, well then uh, you won't have to... Uh, ever replace any of these springs and you know of course these are some of your more important springs 
um, and anything that a person can do to upgrade not just the quality of the parts in your AR especially in your bulk carrier group and your uh, buffer um, assembly you should do and uh, because that's where most of the problems with the ARs occur um, not to mention these are supposed to actually increase performance um, I believe that this being longer and flatter uh, creates more tension than a conventional buffer spring and uh, therefore it basically it slams back harder <laughs> uh, to make sure that it grabs uh, the empty shell casing spits it out and then you know puts in a, a, a new round in the chamber um, making it you know less prone to failure so I, I'm really excited about these parts and uh, I actually have uh, one more uh, box coming from uh, Superior Shooting Systems um, and I'm going to put a link to them down below um, I've heard a lot of good stuff about uh, about these I've read a lot of good things about them um, particularly from the Armory channel and eBomi um, so if you have the money you know this spring costs about $25 the only thing I don't like about David Tubb is the shipping and they kinda have some really whacked out uh, customer service um, their website doesn't update shipping status and uh, I never got a, a confirmation number of any kind uh, which would have been nice but other than that my stuff got here you know so that's minor um, and I'm really excited about trying this out so um, once the trigger and hammer uh, springs get here I'm gonna be installing all this stuff um, and then I'm going shooting to see how they do anyway until next time thanks for tuning in uh, be safe and uh, I hope that you had a great Memorial Day weekend and uh, I will see you soon thanks for tuning in <laughs>